Open the photo with the autumn leaf. Choose Path Tool from the toolbox. In Edit Mode, select Design. Now you can create a first rough outline around the object. To have a closer look at the details, zoom the image at 100%. We start at the left side. Just click to create a first anchor point of your path. If you misplaced such an anchor point, just pick it up and drag it with your mouse until it's placed correctly. Now just continue until you have reached the initial starting point again. If you need to remove an anchor point, just press Ctrl and Shift key on the keyboard. The cursor will show a small minus sign and you can remove the point by clicking on it. If you continue your path, make sure the last point is activated. Otherwise, you will start a new path. So you just place the last anchor point near the first one and then move it to the final position. Now we do the fine tuning. Please choose Edit from Edit Mode. If you hover your cursor above the line, you'll see a small plus sign. You can add a new point with a mouse click and you can also drag it to the desired position. You can create as many anchor points as you like, depending on how accurate you need the outline. If you need to see more details, just increase the zoom factor, for example, to 200%. Each anchor point has two additional handles. These can be used to fine-tune the direction of the pass even more. If you find a point that is not in the right place, just change back to design mode and move it.
After you have finished the path, click on Selection from Path. You will recognize an active selection. Now choose Select Invert, because you don't want to remove the leaf, but instead you want to remove the background except the leaf. To avoid a too sharp edge, use the legged feather to get a smooth border instead. Let's try 10 pixels for the feathering. Now we just have to delete the selected area. Usually the active background color will be used to fill the deleted selection. If you want to have a transparent background instead, we need to add an alpha channel first. This can be done in Layer Transparency – Add Alpha Channel. The current selection is still active, so we can delete again. The small checkerboard pattern indicates that this region is now transparent. If you try to save the picture as JPEG, the transparency will be lost because JPEG cannot handle transparency. In this case, choose PNG as file extension. You can keep the options from the dialog window without changes. You can also use any other file format that can handle transparency, for example, the Targa format using the file extension TGA.